start? I mean, it seemed, it seemed pretty easy for you the first few innings. Got some help from your defense. Was it was it as easy as you made it look? No, it was tough. I just had to paint the corners and do what my coaches called. Whatever pitch they called, I threw it where I was supposed to. Could you, that double play, I think, the fourth inning, whatever it was, and they had to rally long bases were loaded. I mean, you, you guys, the defense you played in the composure you keep, where does that come from? I don't know. I, I've always had pretty good defense. And well, I'll, you know, I'll tell you, is, uh, that's our game. Our game is a defensive game. If you watched us in the region, you saw we had 150 chances and only gave up two errors. Uh, with veterans like Nash Carter at shortstop, you saw what he did today. You know, and then you got guys like Corbin Stifers behind the plate who turned that double play. He's maybe the best catcher in the world. So uh, defense is our game. We're not a huge offensive team. We don't have anybody that throws 75 miles an hour. But man, we can pick it on the defensive side. You know, people people don't realize how fast she is. You ask any one of these guys, she can fly. She can flat out fly. She hit that ball so hard to shortstop, and he still couldn't throw her out. You know, it was a hard hit ball, which should have been in routine play, and she beat it out at first base. And then did a somersault afterwards, which was funny, and we'll make fun of her later about it. But, uh, yeah, she can go, man. She, Stella is special. You know, yes, we know she's a girl. She's going to get attention. That's just what it is. These guys know that. We've talked about it. We've been through it for the past two months. And, uh, but she's a baseball player. She's not just a girl who's here. She can really play the game. And she's very, very good. And she can run. You know, and you got to get a little taste of that today, and you're going to get more of it throughout the series. We're sure. We're sure. Can you talk to me a little bit about um, your experience coming here and having the experience last year and how much that kind of helps you to deal with the crowds? And maybe have you talk to your teammates and Yeah, we've. Uh, I was very nervous last year going into our first game because we were playing on national television with thousands of people there. And this year I wasn't as nervous telling everybody else not to be nervous because it's the last time you'll play as a 12-year-old on Little League in this stage. So just don't be nervous and do your best. Absolutely. I mean, there's no substitute for experience. And uh, with, with these guys, it's one thing for me to tell the team something like, hey, guys, there's going to be a lot of people there. It's going to be this. You're going to sign autographs. You're gonna take... It's way different coming from their peer. You know, their friend is saying, hey, guys, this is what we're going to do today. Hey, we have to go do these interviews. This is what it's like. We're going to go on the field. There's going to be a ton of people yelling. It's going to be awesome. You know, that kind of stuff. And, and that helps calm everyone. You know, so Nash and Grayson having them back from last year is, I mean, there's, it's irreplaceable. You know, there's no substitute for it at all. Time to go with off back racing. Uh, how much do you love pitching in these big games? You know, Southeast Bond and the pitch great today. You were perfect through three innings. Do you love it? And does that experience help you a lot out there? Yeah, well, last year I didn't get a pitch. So stepping on that mound today, I was like, let's go. I'm going to shove. And I did. <laughs> that was our game plan today shove. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> Continuous batting, yeah. So, there's you as a pitcher, you know, is it kind of relieving when you don't have to see those same couple of guys all the time at the top of the order? Yeah, because their top of the order could hit. And they, in the fourth inning, they got some blue singles, and I was like, all right, after that, I can shut them down. But, yeah, it's better, I think. Yeah, we definitely talk about it. You know, when we're going out there for defense before, we talk about who's coming up. And if we know we got seven, eight, nine, which is what it would be, now you have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven coming up today for them. So we know that, hey, if we pitch well and we fill up the zone, we're not going to have to face the top of their order, which is significantly better than the bottom half of their order. Not that those kids are, are bad, but the top of the order is definitely their guys. And we know that if we're going, if we have six outs left and they have six guys at the end, well, we're going to go after those six and try to get those out so we don't have to face the top again. And that's, that's exactly what happened. Guys who maybe in a typical season would be at the top of the order, maybe lower down just so you have like, I don't know, more diversity. 
You know, I've heard of some coaches trying to do that, but we're pretty fortunate in that we can hit one through 12. You know, when we put this team together, we knew it was going to be different this year based on the continuous batting. And, and in previous years, you might pick somebody to be on this team based on their defense. Well, you don't do that anymore. Now you, you pick this team based on who can hit. you got to have 12 people that can swing it. So you might have to leave off a kid who is an excellent defender but doesn't swing it so well. Uh, but we, we put this team together knowing in, in our minds that we're going to have to have 12 people that can hit so our lineup doesn't tail off at the end so we don't just give away outs. Nash, you look up three, three times in the last inning with a hit. Um, made some really awesome plays on defense. Do you, do you take pride in one over the other? Like, do you, does one excite more than the other to do well? Uh, I think defense is more exciting than offense because if you make a, if you make a good play, you get more um, – get more respect than you do on offense. So. I'll, I'll, I'll answer that for Nash. Um, this kid wants to take ground balls all day from sun up to sundown. He wants to – coach, can we take some more ground balls? Practice over, can we take some ground balls? In the dorm, can you bounce me some balls? Can you roll me a ball? He probably takes 1,000 ground balls every day, and that's why it shows. It, 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 it's because of his hard work. Ty, you walk up to the first of that and a little bit of the World Series and – Driving two runs, were, were, you, were, you, were you nervous when you walked up there? And, and how much did getting that hit kind of help you for the rest of the game? I was a little nervous because um, it was my first at bat ever being on like TV, like on ESPN, not ESPN Plus. And like I knew all. It's a tough life, man. And I knew like all my classmates were watching and stuff because they sent me videos. Yeah, the, the they, entire school system shut down today. They canceled classes and had all the kids so they could watch the game. And it really helped me through my other at-bats showing me that, like, I can do it. And I was, like, made for this. Yeah, you were. Randy, uh, I noticed Stone did not play a lot in defense during the game. Did you get her ready to pitch next Yeah, we, you know, we, 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 we think that she might throw next game. Um, at least at some point, and so I got her out of there just in case we wanted to get her a bullpen. Uh, we were going to give her a little time to go out there and throw, but uh, we also wanted to get everybody in the game, you know. So everybody got a chance to go out there. So Carter Gomillion went into right field. You know, we, we want everyone to get this experience before the game is on the line, where they're nervous, so they can get out there, knock the cobwebs off, get the nerves out of the way, and wave hi to their mom and dad, and make sure they say, "Hey, who got them here?" You know, we we get all that out of the way now. Now we can go play again and make sure that they're not so nervous. Jackson, same with you. First, first of all, series of bat, get a hit, get another hit later. You guys seem composed, but how are you feeling inside of that first at bat? Uh, I was a little nervous, and then after the first pitch, it like calmed me down. So after that, I was perfectly fine, and I just tried to get a hit. Do you guys notice the crowd and the cameras and stuff while you're playing the game, or you just kind of try not to pay attention? Uh, you have to like block them out. And then after the game, you get to see all that stuff. Yeah, Jackson, what people don't realize is that, yeah, Jackson uh, was our leading hitter in the region, too. So the guy's quiet. You won't hear him say much. He doesn't talk a whole lot. Uh, but he leads by example. And he was our leading hitter in the region, too, which is surprising because he bats lower in the lineup. So, you know, that just shows how strong our lineup is, 1, one through 12. Yeah, for sure. We saw that today. Yeah. We saw the team that we were playing. Uh, you saw two helmets get thrown. Okay. You saw a glove get thrown. Um, our team would never do that. We don't act that way. And we talk about it a lot. And, uh, you, you know, this is my third year to be back at the World Series, and I have that experience um, to be able to calm these guys. You don't see me get worked up very often, especially when I go to the mound. I'm really calm. And, and I think if they see that I'm frazzled or I'm getting nervous or that, I think that that's going to translate to them. But when they see that I'm calm and I'm not worried because I know what they can do, I think that it calms them as well. And that's something that we've talked about all week is we're going to stay focused. We're going to stay calm. We're not going to get rowdy. We're not going to be wild when we're not on the field. When we're on the field, we're going to have good attitudes. We're not going to act up. We're not going to embarrass each other. We're not going to talk back to each other. We can do that behind closed doors. But on the field, we're going to be professional. Uh, and, and, and we're always, always going to stay positive. She's a stud, man. She can throw it. She, she does high 60s. Um, 
you know, we, we don't have, a, you know, some of these teams got guys that throw in the upper 70s. We don't have one of those. But we do have a lot of people that can throw, that can really pitch, not just they're bigger, stronger, like some of the kids are here. Um, I mean, these two are back from last year. They were the smallest guys on our team last year, and they're the smallest guys on our team again this year. So, you know, so the, it is what it is. And um, But you're going to see Stella. Uh, she can throw it, man. She can really pitch. She's a she's a heck of a player. Is the plan for her to start, or is your plan to potentially I mean, I, I, can't, I can't give that away. <laughs> there's, there's definitely a chance that you might see her start. First coach to be here three straight years. Were you asked just how much fun are you personally having in this third trip here? Man, you know, you'd think that I'd get used to it, but it's still brand new because I'm seeing it through the eyes of 10 new kids, just like I did last year. I saw it through the eyes of 11 new kids. Uh, so it's still the first, you know, like the first time to me. But the cool thing is, is that I am very familiar with the surroundings and all of the things that go along with it. I'm really familiar with that. But man, it doesn't take away from the magic of this place. This place is truly magical. And for anyone that tells you different, they just don't know. It is something else. To be here, it is the pinnacle of all youth sports. To get here is the hardest thing to do in all of youth sports. And to be here is the most fun you can ever have.